Hey, what's up, Fighters? Fightman1995 here. Welcome back to some more Super Mario 3D World. So, last time we took on the first half of World Flower. This episode, we're going to be completing the rest of World Flower before we get to the final world. The actual final world of the game. So anyway, before you begin, y'all could do me a huge favor and punch that like button on this video. I would really appreciate it. So, last time we did the Haunted Mansion. Now it's time to go to the other side to play Pipeline Boom Lagoon. And yet, and yet, last episode I did take a lot of damage because World Fire is something I'm kind of bad at. So, yeah. But... Hopefully, nothing really goes too bad. A anyway, uh, I guess while I'm at, I'll destroy the the statue. Uh, no green stars there, unfortunately. But I will have to look around because who knows if there's something big and hidden somewhere? Because there are some of the stages I don't remember but this one I believe if I'm correct uh we have to like well well not just well not just destroy all the enemies in that but yeah uh let's see hey mushroom hey mushroom sweet mm. let's see check down here nothing so we're just gonna destroy more statues, which contains a bunch of mini Goombas, apparently. You know what? Destroy them all! <laughs> Cause we're gonna rock the place with the cannon. Blow everything up. That's what items are for. Blowing every little thing up. Oh gosh! Don't get hit by the, don't get hit by the rammer head. Uh, let's get our one up, too. Uh, let's see. All right, there it is. Uh, green star number uh, one. So that's the first section down. Boy, how good could be? Could that possibly be? Uh. Now, uh, did I see something up there? N no, I'm just imagining things. Okay. Uh, so, anyway, we're gonna keep going. You can get out of here, you stupid blooper, because you are, like, not wanted here. And... I get hit anyway, because the blooper hates me. Thankfully, I don't have that far to go, because... I get a chance to destroy it with ANOTHER CANNON! Uh, what up here? Looks like a green star. Good thing I checked there. So that's green star number two. That was rude, blooper. Gosh, I really hope I don't die to these bloopers. Which, I may. It may happen. Hopefully it don't. And... Hey! More cannon! Let's grab some more cannon and... And, and hopefully get all the, uh, green star coin. Which we actually did. Yeah, that was so easy. And I, I honestly need that mushroom back, so I'm gonna... Go ahead and pick that up. Because we are going to be A-OK. -okay. Because there is nothing left for us to pick up. So, onward to the... Actually, actually I feel stupid. Actually, I'm stupid. I probably could have gone up there. 
So, actually, let me do that real quick. Just so I can get, get a higher run and a good chance of getting that uh, golden flag because don't look like I'm going to be able to get it uh, from that angle. Sorry, I took long to, on that on that stage, but I didn't get the golden flag. Are you serious? I thought that was a good jump. Uh, apparently, I jumped too early. Well, that's a loss. Not actually. I'll be right back. And there we go. Golden flag achieved. That one didn't take me as long. And also, I should let you guys in on that note that I now have a saved uh, mushroom uh, with me. Just in case I lose my power up again. So, yeah. Anyway, next up is the Black Rock Skyway. Oh boy! Here comes that one fun stage again that everyone may hate and, or may like. So, as you guys can do know already, uh, this one is going a lot faster than it, than it was the last time we came over here. Oh, that was so close. And it looked like we're going to need Mario for this one to get that one star. And I just got screwed over by that block. That was just terrific. Great start there. But yeah, it looks like we're going to need Mario f uh, for this day. Which I do not mind doing. Uh, not at all. And you know what? I'm just going to hop through this stage. I'm not taking any risk. And you know what? You you parable can just get out of here. Starting with you. Anyway, uh, green star number one. That was pretty easy to find. And yeah, pretty much uh, this stage. Uh, this stage. Uh, it can actually be pretty hard if, if you don't move fast enough. Uh, nope. No! Crap. I gotta do that whole stage again, don't I? Yep! Well, that hurts. Huh. So yeah, so yeah, it's official. You need to watch your footing there. <laughs> in which in case, that case I didn't a couple times. Also, I don't know what that stamp is for. I, I let go of that way too early. Which is why I'm guessing th this stage would be probably one of the most hated stages, but it it is like uh, challenging too in that case. All uh, right. Gosh, I hate these hair bones. Honestly, I don't know what the that uh. Honestly, I don't know what that uh why that M thing's there, but it's probably for a stamp or something. I, I did not check to see if there was a stamp or whatnot. Might be, it might not. Uh, yeah, even though I did say, uh, technically, that there wouldn't be any, but that doesn't mean that may be, that may not be true. And I need to grab, I actually need to grab a a gamepad for this. 
from from the looks of that, I'm gonna have to see what that Mario Switch does. Uh, uh right after we're done with this stage. But unfortunately, we can't get that last uh green star without that one uh with that game pad apparently oh gosh and yeah as you guys can see i'm playing uh pretty cautiously right now i mean technically you can swerve uh left and right uh since since they uh move fast but yeah anyway and we are done with that stage unfortunately we gotta go back to that uh second green star and use the gamepad for it and i am also gonna find out what mario does yeah i'm sorry if i'm not doing very uh well with in terms of commentating uh throughout doing these uh var variant stages but uh it's kind of hard for me to concentrate on like what I'm doing uh, some of the time when I do recordings and that. I'm just gonna say that much. Anyway, I'm gonna pull up Mario real quick and uh, get off the controller. Uh, how do I? Uh, how did I drop out last time? I forgot it. How I dropped out. Oh, oh wait, I see it. Anyway. I'll see you guys there. Okay. So this stamp. This stamp requires... Uh, nothing special, apparently. Good use of waste of my time to look at that. Huh. I mean, really, it is. But whatever. All right, attempt two. This time using the gamepad. And successfully gotten it. And speaking of which, I probably should have hit that checkpoint before I grabbed... I, sh I probably should have grabbed a checkpoint later before I grabbed a green star, but whatever. Anyway. All right, guys, I am back. After finding out what the Mario, Mario Switch does and that uh, second green star I needed to get with the gamepad, it's time to move on to the uh, next stage. Uh, first, I'm going to drop off Mario here because I don't need him anymore. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be the last time I use the gamepad, but hopefully not. Anyway. Uh, next up is, uh, Towering Sunshine Seaside. Now, this one, I believe we gotta be, like, I believe it's that stage. Okay, no, it isn't. This is not the stage I was thinking. Well, well, sort of, I guess. Well, I guess I should have said sort of. And for some reason, the tower theme is uh, playing, which I kind of don't understand why it is. And looks like we got some power-ups to deal with. Uh huh. Uh, to get some of these green stars, and and I totally know that that lighting torches is going to be one of them. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to lose the cannon. From what it looks like. Uh-huh. Uh, whoop. That's our... That is our... Second green star. Which, I do believe that first green star is where I got to use that... Uh... Use the fire flower to, uh, lit, lit the cannon in that. Anyway, uh, go down, you stupid tower. 
It does not belong here. Not belong in this world. Mm. Now, I don't know if the Five Brothers reward you anything or not. Whoa! Whoa! Mm. Hey! It's the cat food. Mm. Uh, let's see. Green star number three. And I am running out of time. But even if I do run out of time, I, I will have to... I'll have to actually go back to this stage, unfortunately. Uh, unless... Hey! Hey, I say, hey, the save. But unfortunately, I'm not gonna have enough time because I screwed around too much. Yep. I knew I shouldn't have screwed around that much. But anyway, uh, so. Green Star uh, number one. It is going to be splitting these torches again. Just like that uh, fire or fi fire fire flower dash uh, fire dash three. And you know what? I think I'm just going to burn these uh, fire brothers alive. Or I'm just going to get hit by the or I'm just gonna get hit by the suicidal brother fireball. Okay, game. Anyway. You know what? Forget about that. Let's destroy them with the cannon. Because the cannons are like so powerful anyway. And every time I say I something positive, I I still get hit from it, apparently. Just a slap in the face much? Okay, I better... Okay, never mind. I better not say that. In the video. <laughs> ah, why do I keep running into the freaking fireball? That... I, I have hit that fireball way too many times. What's wrong with me? <laughs> I mean, I'm not ashamed by any means, but... I'm not playing very smart at the moment, apparently. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna grab this cat suit. And you know what? I think, coming to think of it, hurry, grab the timer, Luigi! Hurry! Oh, I just scooped. I'm screwed. I am screwed again. But honestly, I think I'm just gonna cut to the part where we uh, get past the uh, Fire Brothers and that. Because I am getting hit way too much. Okay, so I defeated... All okay, guys, so I defeated all, all the hammer right. And, and now I'm collecting uh, all these uh, green stars. Which I did yet again. I keep... Talking like a robot, I need to stop doing that. Well, as much as possible. Anyway. Well, now with that stage out of the way. That's three stages down so far and three more to go. And who knows what's going to await us in the last three. Even though we already know what the fourth one's going to be. Because it appeared from World Star. And it is Honeycomb Skyway again. You know what that means? Auto scrolling stage. But this time it's a daytime variant, not nighttime. <laughs> and you know what? I'm gonna keep my fire flower. I'm honestly gonna keep my fire flower because, or not fire flower, the uh, cat suit. Whoop. Anyway, give me that green star.
Uh, you can get out of here. Fire frog plant. Thank you. Whoa, gosh! That was unexpected. That was scary. I was not expecting that. I'm sorry. Uh, this probably... Yeah, it was a bad idea. Great going, Trey. Anyway, actually... Leap of faith! And bye bye goes my clone because they are too uh, separate from each other. That's okay. Anyway, destroy those. Ah, destroy those guys in time. No, no, I'm not gonna be able to destroy them in time. No, it's too late. Or, or did I have to do it? Uh, I don't remember if I had to destroy that or not. I feel like I did. And I just lost the chance. But then again, I don't remember where all the, all the green stars are. Even though we have picked up, uh... Even though we have picked up, uh, two already. And you know what? You fire from playing stand, no chance. And it didn't look like I didn't need, need to destroy all these guys. So, good thing I did not have to do that. Otherwise, that would have been bad. Uh. And I should have freaking waited. I got too impatient. So, okay. Okay, wait this time, Trey. Wait this time. Do not be so impatient. There you go. And what the heck? What a fire prime plant actually huh. What a fire prime plant actually shot through the pipe. That's actually pretty impressive from a shot that he took. <laughs> anyway, here we go again. And whoa, that is so fast. Doesn't matter because it that's very easy pattern to dodge. <laughs> so, already. And again, another stage down. Only two more to go. What's next? I don't know. But we'll see. And it looks like it's this stage from World 8. Spiky Spike Bridge Sneak. Oh boy, I, why do I have a feeling this is going to be a searchlight level? And it is, and it indeed is, and I know that, you guys are probably wondering how I knew that, well, well, I'll give you guys a hint, it's a word that says sneak. Oh, oh dear, get out of there, Luigi. <laughs> let's, be, let's keep making our progress. And sneak past behind you. That light. And, and to avoid the suicidal brother. I just lost my chance out of getting that first green star. I was not expecting it to go that fast. I thought that was like a lot slower than it usually is. And yeah, that's pretty much why I don't remember everything on there. So I'm sorry if you guys are expecting like good narrations out of me. Fortunately, I don't have it. Ugh. What does make me sad, though, is failing to get that green, the first one, when I got the second. Oh, God. You know what? I'm okay. Okay, I take back everything I just said. Okay, I take it back. 
Okay, I I totally take it back. I take it back. I do regret what I said. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I did hate saying that, but... It happened. And you know what? Get, get out of here, suicidal brother. You don't scare me. Okay, let's not get hit by the fireball this time. But I, I still get hit by the stupid spike. Which is like... I feel like dodging those spikes are like one of the most impossible things to dodge when you don't have a cat suit, like me. I feel like that's like very impossible to dodge. And you have to be like super careful, looks like. And, uh, uh, and thank you for not doing that climbing thing, Luigi. I was wanting you to do that. Ah, oh, man, I am doing so bad today. And honestly, how many times have I died already? Uh, just out of curiosity. I feel like I died more times than I did in the last one. And get out of here, you stupid hammer brother. No one likes you. Are you kidding me? I did not land on the platform when I tried to dodge out of the way. Yeah, I, I am very sorry that I'm doing very uh, bad uh, right here at the moment because I don't know how I'm exactly failing it, which means I'm probably not a good platformer right now. I'm probably failing pretty bad, and I'm taking way too much damage. And now look what side I'm at. See? I couldn't even be able to dodge that. So that's now more than five times that I died right now. Oh, and, and also, yes, that, that, uh, that item that you saw right there, uh, that is called the, I guess, the invisible Tanuki Leaf, meaning that you're pretty much God and you, uh, won't take hit by spike or any enemy. The only way you can die is from, like, uh, acid, lava, or, or even pit. That, that, that's just what I'm gonna say to you guys. And, am I gonna pick that up? No way. I'm not, I'm not picking it up. Because, if I pick that up, I'll be calling myself cheap if I did that. Anyway. And I failed to... And I failed to land without getting hit. Yet again. Ugh. What? Wow, that was that was dangerous right there. That was a pretty dangerous move on my part. I'm surprised I somehow managed to not get hit right there. I'm honestly surprised myself that I did not get hit by that. But this time I'm for sure going to be safe now that I kept my power up like I should be, in which I hadn't for the last several times. 
that's gonna be good dodging, which I do not have, apparently. Ugh! Ugh, oh, thank gosh, finally. Oh, come on! Of course I get hit by the spike at the end when I grab the flagpole. That was pretty dumb. At least I wanted the one hit left, or else that would have been bad. <laughs> but you know what, I think I am going to continue the death count in case I do die again. When I try to get that last uh, green star that I missed. So I'll be right back to where I get it. And possibly show a death montage that happens throughout the video. Well, that failed attempt number however many times I die because apparently I feel like I can make that uh, with without a cat suit. But I'm probably not going to. If I hadn't taken damage from the Fire Brothers to begin with, or actually that wasn't the Fire Brother, I think it was the Spike. So yeah. Oh, that so lasted a lot longer than I was hoping it'd be. Are you kidding me? That lasted a lot longer than it should have. Yeah, I decided to kill myself right there because... Yeah, yeah, I did decide to kill myself right there because... It was like I was going to be able to survive anyway, because I keep taking, I keep taking damage from those stupid, from the Fire Brothers, from either the Fire Brothers or the Spike. But this one time, I feel like I am for sure to get it, unless I screw up again, which I really hope I don't. See? See, I told you I could get it with that cat suit. But, even when I pick it up without the cat suit, I still died. <sighs> Alright. Let's not die this time. After picking up that Green star. Let's not die this time. Let's do this run flawlessly. I probably died like about 10 times on this stage. Because this stage is, in my opinion, is actually one of the absolute worst on on the world flower. Uh, before we get to that boss rush stage, which is what the name of the next stage is. That's all I'm going to say to you guys, so yeah. Oh, come on! I... Are you kidding me? I still got... I still got hit by that. Even though I did attack the Suicidal Brothers. Are you serious? And there was the last time I am going to die on that stage. Oh gosh, am I an 
ever. My gosh, am I ever happy to be out of this stage. Cause that stage sucks. Anyway, so as I said earlier, the last stage, stage of World Flower is Boss Blitz. We're gonna be fighting all the bosses. And boy, am I ever happy to be do, doing this right now. So anyway, so the number of bosses we have to face is uh, six actually, not five as you see. But anyway, uh, I think the first boss I'm gonna go to is uh, Mr. Rock Attack! So it's basically no different, uh, really, because he pretty much uses the uh, same strategy as he did on the last fight. So, biggest key hit, stand to where he was gonna crush you. Because he'll always move, no matter what. So I think that's really simple, really. Plus, he's easy to beat. Oh, oh, and also, I, I should also say, please don't waste a lot of your time on a boss, because if you waste boss on some of the time, then you are gonna run into, run into and have a hard time with fighting the boss. Anyway, next up, Pom Pom! Thank you, thank you, Boom Boom Girlfriend! Again. And, you know what? Still uses the same strategy. Teleport and then show her shuriken at you. Pom Pom threatening? No, nah, no, nah, she, she's totally not. She's just a joke. <laughs> so pretty much, yeah, we're, we're we're pretty much fighting all these bosses, uh, and that's pretty much all we're doing. Uh, next up is it's the two Hippocrat. Both the king and the queen. Now this one, you actually do want to make this count. Because... You don't want to actually screw up. In other words. So, yeah. And also, if you are lucky enough, you can actually uh, make a combo. Uh, with... With, uh... The two Hexacrats that you see. And I did not get a good placement of where where they were. I did not get a very good placement uh, to strike the king. So yeah, it's it's pretty official. Uh, the the queen one is more threatening than the uh, king one, and I actually do not know how I did not hit that king to be uh, on it. But really, the fight isn't that hard. The only thing that will make it really hard is if, if that if you don't have a cat suit like I do. Which in this case, I am struggling a lot on this fight. So that's pretty much the basic tip of what you need to do. You want to honestly uh, not lose your cat suit like I just did, because if you lose your cat then you're going to lose a lot of time uh, just doing that alone. And as you can see, I am just screwing up very badly. And you know what? I really don't care if anyone yelled at me or whatnot, but I think I'm just going to kill myself just so I can redo that fight because I am screwing up way too much. And honestly, I think I'm going to do this fight first, because this fight can probably take the longest if you, if you're not, if you're not careful and careless like me. And, yeah. And, and yet they also do leave a reaction when, when e either the king or the queen is, is uh, hit. Honestly, as you can... If you guys can see. And I still didn't get the hit on on the king. But hopefully I can pull out that one combo 
against the queen and the king. Because, believe it or not, it actually is possible to do. I just need to get at a good position to do that. Anyway. What you got? What you got? Uh... There we go! There we go! That was what I was trying to do earlier. So yeah, it is actually possible for you to get a two-hit combo on him, both the queen and the king. But that's like, honestly, not the easiest thing to do, and that was kind of BS right there. I I should have hit him. I should have hit her right there, and I somehow did not. But thankfully, that's over. And I think because I died on the that boss fight and not died to the first two I fought, I think I'm just gonna. Uh, I think I'm gonna honestly skip them. Uh, in other other words, just so I don't have to show it again. Anyway, next up is the King Brother guy, as I like to call him. Anyway. Uh, have another boulder, man. You deserve your punishment. Come on, roll at me. Roll around at the speed of sound like you got no place to go. And bye bye. That, that's the boulder guy down. Only two more to go, technically. Even though I. I am going to have to redo T King Katunk and Pom Pom again. But anyway. Bring it on, Boom Boom. Let, let's see what you got. I bet you're challenging. Nah, nah, you're not. Nah, nah, he isn't very challenging. Not at all. And that's actually the first time I actually bounced on his shell. I, I was honestly thinking that would hit you. But somehow it doesn't. Anyway. And bye bye That's all five bosses down. And I'm going to cut to where... I'm going to cut to where I get to the final boss. I bet you guys can't guess who it is. Alright. So now I collected all the keys. Alright, here. Time to find out who the final boss is. The final boss of this game is, if you guys haven't guessed already, Motley Boss Blob! Who uses the same strategy again? But he uses the same strategy as he did on the, uh, the one fight. Where he summoned his, uh, clown, and yeah. And of course I failed to hit him one time. It won't hurt me as much, uh, because I still have a lot of time to beat him, even though I now am under a hundred seconds. And I got hit. That's wonderful. Come back here, Bossley. Come back here, you stupid clown. That clown's going down. Oh gosh, I can't see what I'm... I can't see. And of course I died in a stupid shockwave. Wow, I am doing so horrible today. Anyway. Attempt two. Attempt two. Attempt one, I was really close. But I am slightly at a... Bet, I am at a bad disadvantage this time because... Yeah. Yeah, I was only at one hit left. I got screwed over so hard on that one. Take three! Because I did very bad on attempt two because I, I was only at one hit. Hopefully I can do better on this fight. One hit already done.
Oh gosh. And, and of course I still get hit. Oh, come on! Of course I'm too late on the hit. Which does explain the reason why I'm playing very bad right now. Hopefully Dirt Trike will be the charm. But if it's not, oh well. And there we go. That is all the bosses down. We have beaten every single boss in the game. Unfortunately, the unfortunately that took me longer than expected. Fortunately, that took me longer than expected, but okay. Anyway, stop sliding, Luigi. Anyway, anyway, with after getting killed by Mo Motley Bob Flop three times, well, flower is done. Yeah, and I want to very much apologize for me playing very badly on this one because Wellflower is actually a word I am actually very bad at. But I want to say this is going to go to the same thing as well as the next day we're going to be doing, the next world. So let's actually go over there right now. The final world is going to be World Crown. That is the final world of the game. But anyway, I could do it right now, but unfortunately, that's going to be it for this episode of Super Mario 3D World. So, once again, I want to thank you guys all so much for watching this. And remember... If you enjoyed this episode of Super Mario 3D, you want to like to see the final episode of the game. Don't forget to punch that like button. Next time, we're going to finish Super Mario 3D World once and for all and finish the remaining three courses. So, once again, I am Fightman1995. See you all. Have a good day. Game on, my friend, and take care. Goodbye.